Make sure to stand till the end guys, if you have a Fiat 500 it could be something super simple why your car is not cranking and it could be something completely unexpected. Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today we will explain the top 5 reasons why a Fiat 500 does not start. Stay with us, we will explain that in this video today. And in some cases it could be something super simple to fix. So make sure to stay until the end and we will explain what it is. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that guys? Because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos. Videos. And if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for a good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our two supplies from and you can guys save a ton of money. So with that being said, let's explain what we have specifically here. This is guys a Fiat 500 apart, but even if you have a different one, procedure is about the same. Now, the top things that we see, a Fiat 500 not to start guys. We have the engine computer here removed, okay, we are rebuilding a few things on that Fiat, uh, but practically you can see this is the engine computer and the box uh, here from the battery. So, right here guys, you have the 12 volt terminal, okay, and you can see that wire here goes to the engine starter, actually on your Fiat 500, it goes to the bottom, that's the engine starter. But, first thing that I will check will be fuses and relays okay uh, not just for the engine starter but for the engine computer power train fuses relays ignition switch relays immobilizer relays and fuses as well why because if immobilizer fuse relay doesn't work your car will not start if ignition switch fuse relay doesn't work it will not start so always check the fuses not just for the starter but for the power train immobilizer okay ignition uh, and uh, uh, the uh, engine computer as well now something else okay if you come underneath guys let me show you now here we have a special video that explains about the starter replacement if you need to we have a video that explains how to test an engine starter as well but right here that's where the starter is located okay that's our engine starter right there the engine starter has two wires going to it one that big red one right there okay let me zoom in you can see with that uh, copper bolt right there that's the one coming from the car battery that supplies 12 volt voltage 12 volt power to the starter then we have one more on top that's impossible for me to show you but it's a small wire that's known as the ignition wire ignition feed that wire when you turn the ignition switch on, we will activate the starter. It's a little bitty wire on top. So we gotta make sure that it's plugged in and it's not corroded or not loose. We had a case where the wire was loose and what will happen? Okay, it will not work. So we had to uh, fix the, connect the, the connector on the wire and uh, clean it and everything was perfect after that. Another thing, it could be a bad starter in some cases, guys. Okay, that can cause that as well. Now, something else. We will have a video that explains how to uh, test ignition switch and immobilizer, but practically uh, you can check if you have, if uh, you turn the ignition switch on to start the car and you check with the voltmeter if you have a supply to the ignition wire on the starter, that means that the ignition switch and the immobilizer is good in most cases, guys. But uh, you may have bad ignition switch or you may have problems with the keys we had a problem where actually the uh, vehicle was sitting with a dead battery for a long time something happened and it forgot the key so the key was not active anymore and it could not start the vehicle so that was another problem that we uh, had occurred here but i recommend starting with fuses relays check the wires on the starter test the starter and then go to ignition switch and immobilizer something else that most people never think about if you have a fiat 500 manual transmission now right here guys on the clutch you have a special switch that detects if you press the clutch so you can start your car if that clutch switch fails it practically it will not send signal to the ignition switch then it will know that it will not know that you press the clutch and as a result the car will not start so it could be a bad clutch switch as well uh, make sure to check it out we have a video how to test it hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time